I'm an author and I haven't written a single word of fiction since the coronavirus outbreak began and I'm pretty sure that's all right. In this video I'm going to talk about why. Hello, I'm Jason Arnop, the author of Ghoster, The Last Days of Jack Sparks and some Doctor Who stuff and this is my new channel, The Lone Writer, which is going to be about, as the title hopefully suggests, both writing and being in isolation during this bizarre new era in which we find ourselves. Oh yes, what a pleasure it is. I can't see my family at the moment for fear of accidentally infecting them even though I'm currently asymptomatic, you know the situation, you're probably in a very similar situation yourself. Couldn't see my mum on Mother's Day. Lots of other stuff that maybe I'll talk about as this channel unfolds. But anyway, this video is about not being able to write. I am a fiction writer, I'm also a journalist. Um, my background's in journalism and I still do a bit of journalism these days. The journalism has been fine. I've been able to do journalism okay. I mean, granted, I've been slower than usual because the world is so very, very distracting. I've made a video for my uh, first YouTube channel, my other YouTube channel, as I shall now call it. The uh, It's a retro channel in which I talk about Doctor Who, video games, horror movies on VHS, all that stuff. So if you've come across this video and you didn't know about the other channel, I'll put a link in the video description down below, you know, all that stuff. So non-fiction stuff seems to be fine because it clearly doesn't use the same parts of the brain that fiction does. So I've seen a lot of uh, writers on Twitter and whatnot talking about how they can't write and, and it's only to be expected, isn't it? Because, well, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, first of all, fiction writers, we're not, we're not factories, are we? We're not, they're not a machine that churns out words. We're delving into our psyches and our unconscious minds and God knows what's going on in those uh, those parts of our brain right now. And our brains are just really struggling to catch up with what's happened in the last week or two. I mean, the last week has seemed like a month. The last fortnight has seemed like three months. I mean, on March the 6th, I went to a gig in London at the time, there seemed to be only a very slight, maybe a background level of danger when it came to the coronavirus. Whereas, of course, you know, if I'd tried to do that a week ago, well, I wouldn't have been able to do it, but you know what I mean. It would have been insane. Yeah, life has moved fast and our brains are still catching up with what the hell is going on. The lockdown started here in the UK somewhere around the 19th, was it? I've got no idea of when the actual lockdown began. It might have been a week ago. I've got no idea now. This would be a good time to keep a diary and maybe that's another purpose that this channel will serve. I don't know about you but I spent the last week kind of inevitably dwelling on all the things I've lost and uh, that I can't do. You know, seeing the aforementioned loved ones for instance. This week however I'm determined to focus a lot more on the things that I can do and I'll talk about this in another video, I'm sure, but things like video calls have been incredible. I've done more video calls in the last week and a bit than I, I've probably ever done in my life. <laughs> so it's an ever-changing situation and our brains are grappling with it. So I put it to you that we're probably not best placed for writing fiction at the moment. I mean, for writers of scary fiction, for instance, I specialize uh, in scary fiction. And so, what does a scary novel look like now? Now that, you know, this pretty scary virus, this invisible virus, has stealthily tried to take over the world. What does a scary novel look like? What does a, a really scary horror movie look like in this uh, scenario? Now, part of me knows that horror always tackles what's going on at the moment. And that is a, a valid... Uh, approach and it's very cathartic and and that's all good but I don't know if I had to write a brand new story at the moment I've got no idea what that is and a lot of authors are struggling with that and they're struggling with projects that they already have on the go do they update those projects do they insert a virus into them do they put the coronavirus into them do they set them in a post coronavirus world if they're set in the near future 
I don't know. I'm inclined to think not to some of those last few questions. I don't know. People want escapism. People want two things, don't they, from novels and stories. They want either escapism or they want something. They want some kind of catharsis. Sometimes, even if people, even if readers or viewers don't feel like they want catharsis, they do actually need it. That's a whole interesting topic right there. What readers and viewers and consumers of fiction want versus what they actually need. I must admit, I haven't actually agonised over not being able to write a load of fiction. I think I've just felt like my brain needs a break to catch up on what's happened. I've also been focused on things like... I think all of our priorities have been realigned as well, don't you? You know, suddenly food. Suddenly getting enough food in your, in your cupboards. That is a major thing. And so, you know, writing fiction... Uh, by comparison doesn't seem quite so important now I'm not saying I don't need to write I'm certainly not in a position where I don't need to work I wish I was so if you're a writer of fiction or any type of creative and you find yourself unable to create then for God's sake cut yourself some slack I mean I should say that my heart goes out to anyone who's on like a deadline and they're they need to fulfill a contract and they have to write. I can only imagine that the saving grace there is that you already know what you're supposed to be writing. You don't actually have to kind of create anything to a certain extent that's new, I mean, that hasn't already been pre, pre-worked pre out. But unless you're in that situation, just cut yourself some slack and rest your mind because your mind is doing a lot of stuff at the moment. It's worrying about people, it's worrying about yourself, it's worrying about the state of the world, it's worrying about all kinds of uncertainties that we all are facing together. And uncertainties that will be resolved and that we will get through. But in the meantime, we probably shouldn't be expecting ourselves to perform Herculean feats of creativity. That doesn't strike me as realistic at the moment. But we will get around to it. We will get through this. So I'm going to thank you for watching and say goodbye while some other videos pop up on this screen that you might want to watch on this channel. If I haven't made any other videos yet, then there won't be anything popping up and you'll have to find something else to watch. Thank you. Don't worry about not being able to write. It'll happen. Bye.